As you guys know, Ninja Alchemist is an excellent combination in Balloon Sea Battles 2. But today, guys, I might have found even a better combo, which is Ninja and Ice Tower, because Ice Tower gives you really cheap round 13 defense, plus a great late game with the Super Brittle and the Balloon Jitsu. So let's hop right into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am bringing Snowpat here, and my opponent is going Quincy. And we are on the map of Korra today with the strategy of Ninja Ice and Farm. Yes, guys, this is actually going to be a pretty hard one to win. I'm not going to lie. Ninja Ice Farm is not actually that bad of a loadout, and I wanted to bring it in today's video, but on a map like Korra, I'm not actually sure how effective it will be because this is a very difficult map, as you guys are well aware. So we are going to just eco on round one and try to get our snowpat down here early. We did start with the Ice Tower, which might not have been the smartest decision because we are leaking a little bit, but that's fine. And we'll get a ninja down next. But yeah, the main reason why this strategy is actually decent now is because of level two uh, pat, which was recently buffed, where now it allows all monkeys to pop frozen balloons. So you can pair up the ninja and the ice tower quite well here, which we will be getting our ninja down right about now. Perfect. All right, maybe put snow pat on last. Ninja discipline here. Opponent's got tack farm Quincy. So I'm assuming it's something like tack wizard farm. They're going to hit me with the wow there. Yeah. Probably did not expect to face Ninja Ice Farm from me. And my guess, my guess is. But we'll see if we can cook with this. Honestly, I feel like we can have some success here. I really do. I've got I've got good um vibes with today's video. We'll get Seeking Shuriken on this ninja. Alright, and then in one economy boost, I would like to ideally get a farm on the map. Just start getting some bananas on the field. Is gonna be something good for us. Get our farmer, get our balloon bot with it. Alright, they're sending me pinks. Are we good against pinks, or do, we, do I need sharp shurikens? Or something else? Hmm. It appears we're kind of good, low-key. Maybe I upgrade the farm here. White balloons are going to be a big problem for me, though. White balloons, 100%, are going to be issue an issue for us. Round 5. Let's on strong. Opponent has actually stopped equaling, which is very weird. Um, Did they DC? No, they went for another farm. Okay, so they're here. They just don't want to eco. I'm so confused. All right, well, I'll take the eco lead. They're hitting me with the cleansing foam. You want? I'll hit them with the hearts. That's a very interesting decision for my opponent, I've got to say. But yeah, our plan for round 11, round 13 defense, we actually have a really good way to defend that. And that is the flash bomb on the ninja paired with ice shards, guys. That is actually quite effective combination there. So that is what we'll be doing defensively against like region rainbows and all of that type of stuff my opponent could send me. But if my opponent's not going to send me anything right now, I honestly don't have much to worry about. I would need more defense for sure against white balloons, but, you know, is what it is. Okay, I think my opponent's getting an early bank. That's what they're doing. You can see they cross path their farms. They're going to sell that bottom farm, probably at the end of this round, and then upgrade the top farm to a bank. That's my guess. They might do it in round 8, but they I think they can afford it in round 7, if I'm correct. No, it's going to be end of round 8. Okay, I'm fine with end of round 8 bank. But yeah, their eco is awful, so that's good for me. Their eco, there's no way they have a salt eco at all. They have like 300-something eco. They stopped super early. Tack Mortar. Okay, so it's Tack Mortar Quincy. It's not Tack Wiz. I, th I honestly thought it was Tack Wiz off the start. Mortar's fine, though. Okay, they got their uh, bank up nicely done. As I said, they would be going for. We'll send them some zebras here. Actually, just balloon boost these. We, st we forced Quincy ability. We forced Bernie stuff on their side. I'll take it. They're actually leaking quite a bit here. This is good. Flash bomb. Okay, one eco boost here. I can um get up my ice shards if they rush me. They go for a shell shock on their side, actually. Okay. Still no balloon sent. They haven't sent me a single balloon since like round three or four. No, it's round four. The last balloon they sent me. Which is something really weird for masters. You don't really see this too often, do you? I'm going to go for a plantation. I still don't have an ice shards on my side, but we can probably get up for round 13. If they rush me on 13, I can tower boost or I can pad ability the rush. I should defend. Ideally, we don't use both against a rush. Okay, we got ice shards up. Still nothing. Maybe their plans to send like a big ceramic rush round 16 with IMF alone. I'm trying to just read my opponent here. I'm not really getting a good read on him. We got double plant on our side now, so that's good. 
I'm just going to keep eco on. I feel like I'm safe against rushes. I have tower boost, I have level 3 power ability, and I have farms I can sell. So even if they're just saving up a million dollars to rush me, I'd like to believe I'm fine. Unless I'm just missing out on something. I'm a little scared, though, because I know they have so much money on hand. They haven't sent anything or done anything in forever. They're going to have so much money to just send me something random. So I'm a little bit worried. No, they're going for another farm on their side. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to stop my eco maybe like 1250. I don't want to go too crazy on the eco here. One, because it's Koru. And also, my opponent's playing kind of weird. So I just need to be a little bit safe here. But 1250 should be enough economy. Are they going to send me Moabs? They go for a tax sprayer on their side. If they send me fortified mobs, they'll probably go sticky bomb is the plan. Yeah. Against fortified mobs. That should defend pretty well. So far, still no signs of aggression. They, my opponent's got like 350 eco guys, okay? We have to remember that. Their eco is absolutely awful here. Um I guess I'll go for another farm. We're done, we're done ecoing on my end. 1250 eco is good enough. I'm ready to upgrade this to... No, they're farming. They're actually farming here. Okay. We'll farm as well. I, I don't think they're rushing me. I think they're just playing like a 300 eco route here with an early bank, which... I'm pretty sure they cashed out their bank as well because they just upgraded like three farms back to back to back. So, they definitely just cashed out that bank. All right. I should be in a very good position against this opponent then. We'll get Sticky Bomb here. This should defend. Okay, we're good. Yep, we're good. Honestly, I don't know about Sticky Bomb against one fortified Moab. I could have probably just tower boosted that and saved the money. But, I don't know. There's definitely... Both routes are fine, I think. We're gonna sell that and get this up. I can get the Ice Shards back in a sec. They went for an IMF loan. Okay, they finally did do the IMF loan, but it's so late. Round 20. Okay, they're sending me that... Let's get Ice Shards back on our side. Yeah. I'm going to use Pad Ability here in a second. Pad Ability. This should defend. Yeah, defense. That defense. Okay, he's going to all out me now. He's going to all out me here now. I should be able to defend, though. I've got a pretty good amount of money for defense. Let's get a Bloon Sabotage here. Okay. Um. Where's my Sabo? Sabo again. I should be good here. I should be good here. We're good. We're good. We're good. Trust. Trust. All right, not the cleanest defend of all time, but we defend it. And my brother, and my opponent hits me with a wow, and then the cleansing foam emote once again. Okay. Well, let's send them some lead balloons here. They are so dead. All right. Hope, hopefully we get a little bit of a better map next time, but we actually won on core, so no complaints there. And somehow I actually got 80 score from that opponent. What the heck? Where are they on the leaderboard? That is the number four player on the leaderboard that I just played against. That is actually crazy. All right, guys, our next match here is on um the new map, Bloomstone Quarry. Now, I'm actually really happy we got this map because I feel like this map in specific is actually quite good for the strategy, at least better than Quarry for sure, because I can actually freeze the water on this map for more farm spots. So it allows farm to be a lot stronger on this map. Um, I didn't showcase that in one of my previous videos, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So we'll start with Snowpad here. Now, I don't really know about the ice spot. That's the only thing I'm a little bit worried about. Um, ice is not 
Like, Ice Shards is not very effective on this map, typically. I think I'll go for the Ice, like, like right here, I guess. But I don't know. I don't know about it. I don't know about it, guys. Opponent, though, is starting with two Boomerangs and Etienne, which is actually kind of interesting. So, we'll have to wait and see what they're cooking with on their end. Let's get a Ninja down as well here, which the Ninja is going to go right here. But yeah, I really like... The I guess even though Ice Shards isn't that effective on this map, I, I will have Flash Bomb with it, which can stun the balloons inside the Ice Shards range to make the Ice Shards even more effective. So maybe I don't have to worry that much about the um about the spots on this map. Hopefully not. But yeah, they have double Boomerang Start with Etienne. They actually upgrade both Boomerangs here against my Yellow Balloons. So that's fine. We got some leaks on their side. They're sending me Yellows as well. Let's upgrade my Ninja here. Maybe keep Snowpad on last. Last target on the snowpad is actually quite effective here because it hits them on a hits the balloons on a nice bend. So that's gonna be good for us. And we'll get our first farm down here. Alright. Yeah, I'm liking how this match is feeling a lot more the early game than the last match already. I'm liking it quite a bit. Farmer, balloon bot. We're good. Send him some pinks. I'm assuming they're gonna get up a glaive ricochet here soon. Cause this double boomerang start they've got going on doesn't seem to be it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll keep it a buck with ya. And I think their top boomerang as well. Their top boomerang would be so much more effective if they just switched the hand. It's like turning into the wall every time. Yeah, they finally switched it. Nicely done. Okay, nicely done. They listened to me. Yeah. Alright, there is now this opponent's probably gonna send me white balloons and stuff, so I do need to react to that. Last time my opponent actually kind of cut me a nice break by not sending me a lot of the eco balloons, so. They're sending me whites. I'm gonna use pad ability here. Okay, I'm gonna go double ninja. See how this ends up playing out? Maybe put Snowpad on first. How is this working? I really don't want to lose the life advantage. Okay, we're kind of defending. My goal with the double ninja play was to try to have one pop the white balloon layer early and then the other one clean up. But I don't really know if it's that effective. And also this ninja kind of blocks the farm spot for me too, which isn't great. So I don't know. This might not be the play, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, are we defending here? We got both of these to Sharp Shurikens. I don't want to upgrade this one to a double shot, by the way, because this is going to be a Flash Bomb later. So I don't want to get a third tier upgrade on it. I'm consciously making sure not to do that. Okay, we saved ourselves our pad ability so we can use it against the Yellow Balloons because I think this guy's got an Eco loadout. So I'm expecting him to send me Yellows here. Let's see. No, they actually buy more Glaives on round eight. What the heck? Robot early more glaives. Holy cow. That is one of the earliest more glaives I've ever seen, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. He's not playing any games on defense today. Let's get Flash Bomb up here. Okay, this should be enough to defend these uh, zebra balloons, I think. I'm honestly going to sell this in a second. Yeah, get that plantation up. We're good. Alright, our farms here are actually quite good, though. I like that a lot. If they rush me around 11, I can sell the farm, my one of my farms and get up a um, Ice Shards would be the plan. At the moment, though, it doesn't look like they're interested. Okay. I do want to force their Etienne Kim on round 12, because currently they have, like, no camo detection, so I should be able to force it pretty easily. Let's do that. Yeah, we forced it. Perfect. With not that much money spent, either. Probably didn't even need to use, use the balloon boost there, but, you know, I used it just because I felt like it. Alright, are they going to rush me here? We get ice shards and we get pad ability or tower boost if they do. Um, white balloons are going to force my ice shards as well, so we'll just get, we'll just get that up. But this, you guys, you can see, this is actually quite effective. We just stun the balloons in the ice shards range, and the ice shards goes crazy. And they have druid. Druid boomerang. Okay. What's their last tower, then? Interesting that didn't use Druid early as well. They brought out their Druid on round 14. I'm gonna guess Sniper as the last tower. I'm just gonna throw a dart at the wall and say it's Sniper, just because I've seen a lot of people go in Druid Sniper recently. But, could be anything, to be honest, so... I'm not entirely sure. We'll just continue max eco in here, though. I'm definitely gonna go for more eco this match than I did on Koru, just because it's a longer map. I don't think my opponent's gonna be as aggressive as my previous opponent, um... We'll probably be going to 2k-ish eco, will be the plan. That'll be the plan here. Alright, opponent's getting up their third Druid of the Jungle. They're just Druid of the Jungle farming now, which isn't bad, but like, I feel like they misplayed by not doing it early. 
The advantage of the Druid is you can start with the Druid of the Jungles and it's your early game defense while being a farm. But they started with their Boomerang, so they didn't get any early income from those, which is definitely um not great for my opponent. Speaking of which, I think I honestly have an eco lead on my opponent, if I were to guess. They haven't been sending very fast eco balloons towards me, and they didn't send much eco at the beginning of the game either. That So that leads me to believe I do have more economy, which is actually fantastic. You know, I'll take that any day of the week. Round 18, are they going to send me any fortified mobs or anything like that? If they do, I'll probably just do a sticky bomb again. Uh, so far nothing. We're going to send black balloons until I hit 2k eco. Also going to go for uh, the third farm. But you can only fit three farms in the map without freezing the water. When you freeze the water, you can actually fit seven farms. Because you can fit four on the water. But I'm not sure if I can actually do that this game. Because I do have snow pat on the water. Which does kind of block a farm spot, right? So I don't know if we'll actually be able to do it here, unfortunately. We'll see, though. We'll see. We did actually pass the 2k eco mark slightly. It is Sniper! Oh my gosh, look at my predictions, ladies and gentlemen. I guessed it. I'm so good at this game. Okay. Sell this. Get that up. Greedy play, I know. They call me Greedy Mahalik for a reason, ladies and gentlemen. Strong on the pat. I think the soul is the Moab. I'd like to believe so. Yeah, we're good. Alright, no problem. Honestly, I should have went for a beer at first. Um, before my central market, because I need to go for BRF right now. Let's use pad ability, because we are actually having some problems with the AI balloons, surprisingly. We're good, though. Still no signs of aggression from my opponent, which is interesting here. Um, is it worth for me to freeze the water for a farm early? Hmm. How much do these sell for? 19k? I need 27k. I actually might be go for a round 23 Wall Street here, believe it or not. I think I can. Yeah, I can. Alright. I just got round 23 Wall Street, which is crazy. I think I'm going to send them a fortified ZMG as well. Let's get a little bit aggressive. You know, let's not let him just relax the entire match with his sniper farms and everything. We'll send them a ZMG um, with my special skin. You guys know, it's not a Ryan Mahalik video without some glitch balloon skins, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't really like it that we went below 2k eco sending that, so I'm just going to send eco to I hit 2k again, is what I'll do. Just because I don't really like looking at 1800 eco too much. Alright, we hit it on the dot this time for it as well for you guys. I didn't over eco. They went for a mob press with the top cross path, which is a little bit interesting there. Normally in this game, you always get the bot the uh, middle cross path mob press. I know in BTD6, the top path is a little bit more common though. And they went for a main mob as well. So they've got double stun on that bad boy. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a Arctic Wind down here. And we'll get our first farm on the water as well. All the way to the bottom left as much as possible. Perfect. That Arctic Wind is not only going to help me on the water. It's also kind of towards the back end of the map. So it's a nice cleanup too. So it's kind of a dual purpose Arctic Wind there. Dual purpose, ladies and gentlemen. They have th four mob presses and a main mob right now. We're getting good value on this ZMG send. Plus, I still think they're going to have problems against the insides. They go for a full auto rifle. All right. They pop it down into Moabs now. Is that an elite defender or is that just full auto? They're dead against ceramics, I think, currently. Unless I'm missing something. No, they're actually good against ceramics with their druid farms and everything. And they're popping the mobs down. Yeah, they popped all the mobs down pretty much separately. Which made dealing with the ceramics a lot easier. So they're good. They're good. Nicely done, brother. Alright, still not a single rush from my opponent. I'm going to go for this Banana Central here soon then. Very greedy play, I know. They call me Greed Halleck for a reason, ladies and gentlemen. But if my opponent is not sending, I'm not defending. You know what I mean? Alright, let's get a Balloon Jitsu here with the Embrittlement. That's going to help me out a little bit for the AI. And we are just going to keep on farming now. They have the two fifth tier farms on the field. They're just spamming main mobs on their end. They only have two sniper farms, by the way. No elite sniper either. So, opponents definitely not making that much money right now comparatively to us. Not much at all. All right, let's get this guy down here. Perfect. Um. Okay, we're going to go for an ice tower up here. And get two farms at the top here. Can get another one. I'm trying to place them all the way in the corners too. Because there's like a little bit of extra space. It's pretty important for me to do that. 
So then maybe I can fit this farm. I still don't think I can, but it leaves me space for ninjas and a, a super brittle though, at least. So six far six farms isn't bad though. You know, six farms is not bad at all. Oh, they're sending me a BD. Okay, okay, okay. I see you, brother. Let's go for a super brittle right here. I want that round to end. I want the round to end really badly. Okay. End of the round. Nice. Um, crap. I need to react to this, don't I? Currently, I'm not. Grandmaster Ninja? Bunch of balloon jitsus. Balloon jitsus with super brittle are really effective because balloon jitsus do one base damage. And the super brittle adds four. So it's quite good. Uh, I don't think the stacks on these are that great, though. Hmm. Sell this. Another stack right here. I don't even have a sticky bomb on my field, either. Let's use pad ability. I don't know if that's going to do anything. Probably not, but we'll use it. Let's get a master bomb on our side. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yep. Okay. That wasn't actually that bad of a defend. That wasn't that close. My Master Bomber only has five stacks, though. All right, what I'm actually going to do here is get is change up some of my placements. Well, let's first get our Monkey Wall Street back. I'm going to sell that. Get our Monkey Wall Street back. Sell that. Sell that. And we're going to ice our platform from the left here next time. All right, from the left. Yep, just like this. Yeah, I, I can't fit that farm, by the way. It would have been impossible for me to fit the seventh farm. I just now checked. I just now checked on it. All right, Super is going to go right here. Now that we have all of the water pretty much frozen, I can actually place ninjas on it, too, which is really nice. So we'll start spamming some ninjas here. They're sending me more. Okay. More ninjas and strong. I honestly feel like this one's not going to be as bad as the first one, because even though they're ramped more, because I have a lot more defense set up, and I'm a little bit more prepared for this time around. We'll see, though. Sell that farm. These are fortified, by the way. The skins look weird, so they don't necessarily look fortified, but trust me, they're fortified, guys. Come on, Blunjitsus. Do your job. I might as well get up a Grand Saboteur as well in case they send me more. Awesome. Yeah, we're popping them. We're popping them. One has one has been popped. That's Sabo. Grand Sabo in case they send me more. I'm actually going to get a um, Icicle and Pale towards the back end of the map too. Just for better cleanup. They sent me some BFBs. BFBs aren't going to do anything, bro. What? The BFB send is an interesting decision, I've got to say. That is a very interesting decision for my opponent. No, not two videos in a row. Please don't sink out, brother. Oh, man. Don't die on me, brother. All right, we're, ba we're back. I don't think they disconnected. I would like to believe so, but game is extremely laggy. So I think it's time to rush the opponent, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to send them the big red line. Actually, this might not be a very smart send because they have Boomerang and they've got Druid. But you know... We'll send this, and if they end up buying upgrades to defend it, like Superstorm or whatever, I can send DTs on top. And the DTs on top will actually be pretty deadly because um, they'll overlap everything. I'm not sure if they're defending the BFBs, though, to be honest. They haven't really bought anything good against them yet. We're going to start selling off my ninjas as well. All I really need to keep on my side to defend any counter is a um, is a Master Bomber with some Shinobi stacks, and we'll be good. So I can sell off pretty much all of my defense here. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, so look at my opponent's side. Again, I don't know about why my balloons are glitched like this, but they are not defending this BFB line of death, ladies and gentlemen. That is pretty much an entire map of BFBs on my opponent's end here. That's not something you see every day. Yeah, they're not defending at all. They aren't defending at all. That's a GG, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video showcasing the strategy of Ninja Ice and Farm. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below about the slow of the business for today. I'm like, out. Peace out, guys.